about to get things rolling here in about five minutes. Um, I would like to page a few people to the registration desk. Uh, Girl Scouts, uh, committee people, we need the committee. We're going to be starting our opening ceremonies in just a few short minutes. So if you want to come a little closer, you can. Sit at the tables if you want to. Stay in the shade. That's fine. But um, we will be starting in just a few short minutes. Okay. Hey, let's go. Hello, Hello. 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 They are going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Eggman's office <laughs> that has a few words to say for us. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone for coming out to support such a great cause today. Um, it's amazing to have grassroots community events like this. It's my belief that when you have grassroots events, it not only serves to bring the community together, but also sparks hope and inspiration into the lives of many. So thank you so much. Um, I have a certificate of recognition that I'm going to presenting today, and it's to Relay for Life of Mountain House in honor of their service and commitment in the fight against cancer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leah. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and ask my committee to please walk out here in front so we can get a good look at them. Um, Melinda Gibson. And um, she went from being our team development to actually taking over Luminaria. So she'll be handling our Luminaria for us. Over there. We also have Dave Pombo here. He is the co-chair this year and he will be the event, he's the co-event chair and next year he will be the event chair. So if you guys are interested in getting more involved for next year, please see David Pombo. I'm sure he'd love to speak to you. And then we have Scarlett Seto. And Scarlett is our survivor chair. She's doing a wonderful job of making sure our survivors are well cared for. Uh, we do have a survivor continental breakfast available for the survivors when they get a chance to get over there today. We'll have that set up for a short time after the, after the opening ceremonies. We have Lynette Hapgood, and she is handling our teams. And Lynette has been helping us plan this event and helping us with the teams. And we have Lynn Morris, who has been our event chair. If you guys could all give them a big round of applause. And if you have any questions today, um, please feel free to find one of these lovely people in an orange shirt, or Lynette, whose orange shirt didn't come in the right size. And uh, we'll be happy to help. I'm so delighted that the 2013 American Cancer Society Relay for Life Mountain House is finally here. Woo! Yeah! Believe it or not, we planned this pretty much all year long. So I think we're all really thrilled that it's here. Each year, our community comes together to help those who are facing cancer get well, to help those who have yet to be touched by cancer stay well, to find cures for this dreadful disease, and to fight back so that our children and their children never have to hear the words, you have cancer. This time I'd like to go ahead and invite David Pombo to come say a few words. Uh, as Michelle said, I will be the 
chairman next year of this event. And I just wanted to tell everyone thank you for coming out. We uh, look forward to having you out here today and again next year. And let's relay. All right, thank you, David. We have our DJ here who's volunteered to be here for the full 24 hours. And we will have some um, special appearances by some Mountain House own musical talents a little later today. We will have an Oreo stacking contest this afternoon. If any of your kids would like to join in on that, we're just going to have, it's going to be $2 to register to do it and just go over there to Hope is Timeless to get um, registered to do that. And then, um, all the teams, I believe, are selling food, and they have raffles, so please make sure to stop by all the teams today and see, check out what they have going on. That is their fundraiser. It's how we raise money for this event, outside of the pre-event fundraising that we've all been doing. We have Luminario over there. If you'd like to honor one of your survivors, um, or honor one of the people you lost, or celebrate one of your survivors with a Luminario bag, those will be lighting our way this evening. And um, as I said before, we do have some food over there for the survivors that they can enjoy later um, after the ceremony. Oh, hold on one second. You know me and a microphone. I got to grab one when I see one. But actually, we wanted to say something about Michelle. I wanted to say I stumbled across Michelle last year when she was putting on the first Mountain House relay and literally stumbled across her. And uh, there she was pushing to set it up, and she's been pushing to set this up all year, and she's done a great job. So give her a hand, please, as she has hired us. Let's go ahead and get the survivors starting right here at this. Let's do this. One, a two, a one, two, three. Oh, it's oh those things. Oh wow. That, that is actually a lot harder than it looks. That's a tease. You can do it. 
That is such a tease. Chill. I thought I would have won this thing hands down, but there's no way. <laughs> we're still going. Uh oh, we got, we got, we got, we got. Actually, we're, it's getting closer here. There's a little shake and bake in here, Ricky Bobby style. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can do it. Do not give up. I think I got the song for that to get there. How? Get going here. I gotta. There we go. Oh, we're on a timeout? This should get you going. If this doesn't make the hair on your arm go up. We got a winner, and she, she, if we had video footage of this, she was not off to the best start. Count of three, one, two, three. Uh oh, we got, well, we got a bite. Uh oh. I think she learned the secret. Keep that eye to the tiger, you could not quit. There's no, there's no quit. You know who may end up doing this, but you never know. You never, ever, ever, ever know. Oh, there we go, winner, 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 chicken dinner. That's what I'm talking about. I think everybody in that middle seat, that's the, that's the winning seat. Congratulations all three of you though. You gotta, you gotta eat a pretty donut.
get everyone. This is where we kind of slow things down, quiet things down. It's our ceremony of remembrance. So we do not need, we don't have walkers at this time. If you're walking the track, please feel free to come on in. And uh, we're gonna slow it all down here for a minute. The Luminaria ceremony is an opportunity for us to come together and remember why we're here at Relay. I'd like to ask that you all please respect the meaning of the ceremony, that the ceremony carries by remaining silent. This is a time for us to grieve for those we've lost. It's a time for us to reflect on how the disease has touched each of us personally. And it's a time for us to look inside ourselves with quiet reflection and find hope. No matter what our experience with cancer has been, we all share the hope that we will one day live in a world where our children and their children will never hear, have to hear the words, you have cancer. Our track is illuminated by Luminaria. Each one represents a treasured relationship. They represent people, and each has a name and tells a has a story to tell. They are our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, our brothers, our sons, our daughters, our friends, and our loved ones. As they glow through the night, they represent our shared vision for a cancer-free future. We love the people these Luminaria represent, and we remember them. We celebrate them, and we fight back against this disease for them. At this time, I'm going to ask everybody to please walk a lap in remembrance. Please walk it silently and get those who have lost somebody to cancer that they love.